home voiceover studio engineer to the stars in Los Angeles, California. A Virginia Tech grad whose knowledge of the latest recording gear is second to none. He's a voice actor and the home studio master, hailing from Buffalo, New York. His home studio skills and knowledge of voiceover recording is unmatched. When Dan and George talk shop, people listen, and the talk continues tonight. Welcome to East West Audio Body Shop. And now, live from his high-tech facility in Santa Monica and his penthouse studio in Buffalo, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Good evening, I'm Dan Leonard in the East. And I'm George Whittem in the West. And together we are East, East West, West Audio, Audio Body, Body Shop. Shop. Well, it is our monthly Google Hangout episode. It's been a while since we've been on. I mean, at least it seems like a while. It does feel I like mean, a while. We, I mean, we had, uh, we had Rachel McFarlane on last week. My son was very disappointed because he's actually a Seth McFarlane lookalike. And uh, so he, was, he was watching the show, and he wanted to get in and say, "I'm, I'm Seth MacFarlane's lookalike." But, 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 but she was great. I mean, she was a great guest. She was a lot of fun to have up, have on the show. She was. She was. If you guys haven't she seen was. it yet, go on YouTube. It's on there. It's Episode a lot of fun. Episode one ten. One ten. A lot of fun. We had a great time with her. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, we've got our weekly, our monthly Google Hangout, and uh, why don't we introduce some of the folks we have with us here? We've got starting from the actor's right down here. We have. Does that actually work? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Conchita Congo. Hi. Joining us from. Thank you for having me. Joining us from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi. Hi. Thank you for uh, having me. Well, thank you for being with us. Are you a long-time listener, first-time hangouter? I'm a first-time hangouter. Cool. Yes. Thanks for but joining us. A long-time viewer. A long-time yeah. viewer, first-time hangouter. Cool. Thank you okay. for joining us. Great. Thanks you for, for joining us. And uh, then, see, next to me, that's George is there. And then, um, we, we, I know we have Liz Harris with us. You in there, Liz? I'm here. I am. I just don't have a, a picture up. No video. Oh. and okay. Oh, and... And John Bailey just jumped in. John, are you in there? Turn your mic on. You got to click. I joined the wrong chat window, unfortunately. Oh, well, well, now you're in the right one. So <laughs> happens to the best of us, my friend. It does. And apologies. Life is good. Well, where, where are you hailing from? Where do I hail from? I hail anywhere there's a cab, my friend. <laughs> uh, I'm from the Memphis area, generally speaking. Do, generally. Do, 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 do. Memphis, Tennessee. Right, right on. And then on the other side of Liz, who is still faceless, but sounds great anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us from Toronto, Canada, our good friend Pat Sweeney. Woo! -hoo. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> How's it going there, eh? Long time viewer. Um, I'm thinking of shutting her down pretty soon. <laughs> Unless the show gets a little bit better, I'm shutting her down, man. <laughs> Life is way too busy for you guys. Pull the Sorry. plug. Kids are staying yeah. up a little bit later and you know doing homework and. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, but you got it all done. Yeah, I'm. Okay. Uh, I've drunk the Kool Aid a long time ago. You know that. <laughs> yes. Good point. And then another fresh face to our hangouts. Joining us from now, where where are you from? You're from New York, uh, New Jersey, uh, Suzanne Roberts. Hello, I am from New Jersey. You're from Jersey? 20 minutes to New York City. All right. For all those listening. Right on. Wow. <laughs> Great to have you on. You're one of those Great faces I, I see you in Facebook all the time, and it's always like, good to meet people. Oh. Yes, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me. Been watching the show for a while? Yes. Thank you. Good I answer. Think I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was such, um... Yes. Oh, and Steve Tardio has joined us. Steve, how, do how are you doing this evening? On? I don't know. You got it, buddy. Oh, I'm on. Yeah, you're. No, are you on? <laughs> you're five by five, what? my friend. <laughs> I got five the little five? microphone with the little line through it, so I wasn't sure if that meant I had my mic was on or not. Yeah, that's a confusing oh. icon, isn't it? Very. <laughs> Thanks for well, joining us again. It, Where do you come from again, yeah. Lee? I'm in New Jersey. And yeah, you're in Jersey too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hells yeah. We got, lots, we got lots of Joyseyites <laughs> in here tonight. Possibly a move to New York City in the next few months. Ooh. Good stuff. Yeah. 
All right. Cool, man. <laughs> Excellent. Well, if you guys are around, uh, you know, available to make a little trek over to Manhattan, I'm going to be in um, New York over at Edge Studios October maybe 16th or so to the 20th. I don't have the dates nailed down, but oh, cool. okay. I'm going to nice. be out there right. in a couple weeks. So uh, they're going to have a little mixer, AES show mixer at the uh, studio because I'm going out there for the AES show, which is like the geekiest nice. audio show on the planet. So <laughs> uh, really? we're going to have a little mixer <laughs> at Edge Studio if you guys want to come out and uh, it'd be fun. Awesome. Definitely. Definitely. Are you yeah. tying a workshop into that, George? Not planned at this point, no. It'll be more visiting clients and going to AES and covering the AES event the way I always have with NAM Show. I'll be walking around with a camera and talking about products and all that good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Cool. Great. More stuff. More cool. stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. Well, this is this is our our monthly Google Hangout, and of course we never know what's going to happen in these darn things. Nope. Because it's live. That's um, right. And on we heist. And, and that's right. And totally unrehearsed, especially since some of you didn't even know how to get into Google Plus <laughs> 20 minutes oh, yeah. ago. Jeez. I think anybody that makes it into the Hangouts that has a camera just, and sound working gets, you know, they deserves. They deserve to be here. Yeah, absolutely. We deserve a th free eWebs credit or something. Yeah, even, even without the Definitely. camera if you made it this right. far. Yeah. I, I am keeping track, actually, here in my iPad. Let's see. <laughs> credit for Steve. <laughs> You know. Anyway, I, I was I was telling George earlier. I, f I got one of these. This came all the way from China. It took a long time. It's a thirty pin extension plug, which works really well. Now, if any of you have had the the Focusrite iTrack Solo, uh huh, this guy. It only comes with this one little short thing. Yeah, a little stubby so cord. So the folks at Focusrite say, well, you can order. Not all cords work, but these do, and they come all the way from China. And it's that's like cool because all my electronics come all the way from China. Yeah, mine yeah, too. But I had to order this from China directly. directly. It had, I think, it came by ship. Doesn't but, everything come from China these days? That's uh, right. <laughs> just a boat, I mean. except it's, Chinese. It's just a boot. It's amazing it's you can. Uh, <laughs> you want the Chinese? <laughs> that, that damn want, word. <laughs> oh, that's made me feel. I didn't say it. Yeah. Yeah. Good Chinese food. You go to Toronto. <laughs> so it's, that's uh, true. Or, We've got or, a good Chinatown here. Right, or the or the low, or the lower west side. But anyway, um, but anyway, this now works with the Focusrite iTrack Solo, so you can plug it into your iPad. Now your iPad can be farther away from the iTrack Solo. Oh, cool! What a concept! Makes it a lot more what useful. That's for sure. It's and, and it, doesn't it, doesn't it feel like this whole iPad pad tablet recording revolution feels? I mean, to me anyway, it feels like it's crawling forward, like. Oh, now I can open a PDF, and now I can draw wow. on it, and oh, and, no. and now oh, I, I can you know, like all the stuff we've been doing on computers for years, but on the iPad, when you can all of a sudden wow. you can do this stuff, it's like oh boy, you know, like give yeah. me a break. Why is it taking so damn long? You know, I don't know, but it gives me a thrill when it happens. <laughs> It's all Apple, I like hearing that. It's all Apple's master plan to make you think, you know, everything is a big evo revolution, you know, and it's like they had these features lined up for years and they're just oh, saying, yeah. oh, let's just let's just let them, you know, let's Absolutely. let them copy paste this this month. Let them all get all in a, all excited about copy paste. Well, look, look at all the changes they do to Google to Google Hangout. I mean, it's like, wait, that was a new feature. Google in general, it's every other day they're making changes. Yeah, that's yeah, the beauty Google's of it. Though. Me crazy. I mean, it's yeah, it's a lot to keep track of, but Absolutely. they don't hold it and make it a big deal. Yeah. They just release it. You know, that's why we rely on you guys. <laughs> yeah. What? And you think we understand <laughs> this crap? Yeah, and George, keep us informed. I mean, technology. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Well, That's why I tune in. Absolutely. We try our well, best. Yeah, Conchita, you, 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 I know you have a couple of questions for us, so we'll let you throw one out here, and then we can throw it to the panel, and George and I can answer it. So what, what, is, what is your question this evening? Okay, what I want to throw out is really to George. Um, oh, I've kind of been away from voice. I'll just hang out in the corner here. Okay. <laughs> I've been kind of away from voiceover for a little bit because I was working on a children's book. And now that I've gotten that completed, now I'm coming back to voiceover. And uh, Audacity is what I've always used because I love it. I understand it. I love it. For me, it's easy. Mm -hmm. um, but what I don't understand is when I try to apply a chain 
so that I get the sound that I want. I end up with mud every time. Um, I'm using a Rode MTA. Uh, my setup is all USB. Yeah. And um, right now, that's what works for me, and I, I really can't invest any, any more into my equipment. Uh -huh. And I want to know what I can do to actually get that chain to not sound so muddy. What, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, I mean, what let me ask you this, wrong? Dan. Dan, have you played with the chain effects in Audacity yet, where you can actually chain up a, a sort of like a stack? Have you played with those yet? Yeah. Yeah, I've I've done that. It's you know it there. I mean, it depends on what you what system. Are you what are you running? Are you running a Mac uh, there, Conchita? I'm in the process of switching over from PC to Mac right now. Oh, good okay. girl. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, I, I knew you'd like that. <laughs> here, here's the thing about the, the chain effects thing in Ado Audacity. It's great that they released it and they came out with a solution, but the implementation of it is really clunky. It's difficult to tweak stuff. With Audacity, you can't um, necessarily hear the changes that you're making to the sound while the sound is playing. There's a lot of challenges, but I haven't run into a particular issue where applying a chain makes it just muddy automatically, unless the settings in the chain are are out of whack. Um, so you're saying that if you apply all these things individually, one by one, it sounds fine, but when you load them into the chain, it turns into mush? It sounds fine if I apply individually, and what I've also noticed is what sounds really, really good in my home studio sounds... It's freezing. Mm. Come on, Hangouts. You froze there, Conchita. For a long time. Well, um, maybe her picture will just magically unfreeze, but... Um, yeah, I mean, Audacity is great and to a point. And then you reach that point and you start realizing, oh, yeah, that's right. This is free software and it's open source and it's developed by a bunch of volunteers and nobody's getting paid. And all that starts to become painfully obvious when you start seeing how unrefined it is in some ways. And, and one of those things, I think, is the chain. The chain tool is still really, still really new. Um, it only came out, I guess, in Audacity 2.0. And um, I don't know too many people have really used it terribly successfully. I've played around with it. I've dabbled with it. But as most people know, I spend the vast majority of my time tweaking and learning and, and optimizing Twisted Wave. Um, I don't spend as much time with Audacity and all the finer points. And uh, who knows, you could just switch over to the Mac and all of a sudden all those problems could go away. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, but for now, I would say continue doing what works, and what works is applying the effects individually. If that's working better for you, just um, for now, I would say keep doing it. Otherwise, um, you'd have to pose a question in the Audacity user forum, user forum, because that's the only way to get support, and see if anybody in there has a suggestion as to why that's happening. My best, my best uh, suggestion there. That works for me. Yeah. Maybe she'll pop back in. Well, how many people do we have? One, two, three, right. four, yeah, five, and six, I, I seven, mean, eight, with nine. Audacity, I think ten. Then maybe that maybe that's why maybe that's why <laughs> Conchita got bounced. Uh oh, actually, Dan, your video is frozen too. Yeah, your video is frozen, Dan. Of course. <laughs> <For me. laughs> do you guys see Dan frozen, or do you see him moving? No, I see him. He's, he's frozen. Yeah, uh, for me, he's frozen. Yeah, I'm frozen. So I, oh, now there. you're not. I can see him. George, where are you tonight? Still frozen here. <laughs> Still frozen. No, no it's fro it's not frozen here. I see myself moving. Yes, moving. There you go. You're moving. I see you. Well, I'm no, using no. A Firefox, so maybe that's part of the problem. There we oh, go. That's oh, definitely the problem. Uh, <laughs> you're the troublemaker. Maybe I am. Maybe I should be using yeah. Google Hang yes. Google Chrome. <laughs> It, it wouldn't be eWebs otherwise. That's right. All right. Yeah, no, but I was saying with, with Audacity, uh, it's, it's really not a high-end program. It's a, great, it's a great recorder. You can, you can import uh, certain plugins, but don't. Because I found when, you start, adding yeah, when you start adding plugins, it's like, I don't know what this stuff is, and it just shuts itself off and, and freezes, and it's like, or it won't even start up at all. The, the, the chain tool is definitely what's making it feel like a more mature program. Yeah. But it just it's just not really implemented that well yet, and it's still buggy. And definitely have to go into the the um, Audacity user forums to ask around about that kind of a bug. 
because I'm not familiar right. with it, and I don't know how to troubleshoot it. So you stumped us. No, she didn't. We know what we're talking about. <laughs> we know enough to say when we don't know. We don't. We don't know. We don't That's know. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Anything but, else, yeah, Conchita? I think she I, she's yeah, back, but she has, back to, on. she has to turn her mic back on. Let's see if she can get her mic back on. <laughs> Click the little mic icon right above the video window to the right-ish, Conchita. I think you're talking. Yep, talk now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Am I back? You're, you're back. back. What was your other okay. question? My 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 question to Dan was: Do you prefer Twisted Wave? Do you recommend Twisted Wave? Yes, we do. On a Mac, yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's awesome. Well, I use it on my iPad, but like I said, I'm I'm getting ready to switch over to Mac from PC right now. So I'm just going to forget Audacity and I'm going to get into Twisted Wave. Then that should solve everything. I, well, we will because you, and you know, there's there's better features in in the Twisted Wave that will make you think: Why didn't I do this sooner? Better support. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, I'm Dan and I use it heavily, so there's a huge amount of experience using it. And um, the version on iPad is very limited in function. I mean, it's very stripped mm -hmm. down. So the version for the Mac will have a lot more functionality that you're not accustomed to. So oh, cool. if your only experience of, of Twisted Wave is the iPad version, don't base it off of that because it's it doesn't have the Twisted Wave stacks function, which is a really important function. It doesn't have batch processing. Mark, you know, markers and splitting by clips splitting and by, splitting by markers and all, all uh, splitting by marker. Yeah, there's so many functions it doesn't have cool. that you'll find. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, you'll yeah. find it useful. Yes, cool. We've had a couple other people join us in the, in Thank the you. interim. You're, You're welcome. quite welcome, Kajita. Thanks for being here. And feel free to ask another question when you get a chance. Uh, Christian Rosselli has joined us. Your hey, mic on there, Chris. All right. Yeah, you can doing? you hear me? Yeah, you hear me no, okay? no, we can't hear you at all. <laughs> come on, that, that, that joke is joke getting so book. old. <laughs> my first, come on, you got to cut me some slacks. This is my first time. Okay. Welcome in. <laughs> Thanks Welcome for coming. Where, you, where are you joining us from? Uh, Woodside, Queens, New York. Right Another on. New Yorker. Sweet. All right. Hey, over here. All right. <laughs> over here. Hey, over there. Hey, you, you talking guys, to me? Hey. You guys over here. <laughs> hey. I know that guy. Forget about it. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks joining for us. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, Thanks man. for joining us tonight. And I think, uh, let's see, jo Lee Penny has joined us. Hey! Hey, Lee. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good. It was so great having you here last week. Yeah, it was a blast. But I, uh, as Jason Lawson uh, reminded me, uh, you were hogging the computer so I didn't get the chat room. Yeah, I said the same thing to Dan. You were on for three seconds, Lee. I mean, I, yeah. I tell what you, a host I, you are, Dan. <laughs> for, forget about that 15 minutes of fame. I got three seconds. The guy who's loaded 110 uh, YouTube uh, you know, clips of Ewoks. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Lee Penny, the floor is yours. Take 15 minutes. Yeah, Go for it. 14 you. minutes and 15 seconds. I'm watching. Make it interesting. You know, Dan says every week, uh, thank you to the wives. I got to meet Marcy in person, and I'll tell you, she she is one patient lady. <laughs> <laughs> she Great woman. <laughs> and he has got two wonderful dogs. Yes, who who are very tired. We walked him really hard this with today. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks How's for your dog doing, Dan. Oh, you know, dog, they, they're doing great. They're doing great. Yeah. After last week, we had well, we had one that a little had, ill. A, li a little ill was up all night. I had to take him to the all night vet. Oi. wasn't a, wasn't a soul around at three in the morning. It was really <laughs> strange. But good time to record. It, 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 I could have recorded it in there. It was really... <laughs> and I'm joining you from the lovely... Uh, uh... And, and and then Ari was all doped up because wow. they had a... Where are you? Yes, but... Uh, but he, and then he... Pss, what? Where are you, Lee? Now what? I'm being what distracting. Going? I'm sorry. Yeah, he's showing us the great... That that's, looks, like, that looks like Irvine. It's uh, No, actually, it's lovely uh, Temecula. Oh. Yeah, we decided we were going to take a little uh, little time to ourselves uh, after my trip back east, my harrowing trip back east with uh, Mr. Dan Leonard. And uh, we're at the uh, casino, the Pachanga Casino. Oh, yeah. A lovely parking lot. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, Temecula's on, Temecula's on the other side of the mountains, right? Yes, sir. Ah, I've, I've driven through there. 
<laughs> Thanks for joining us. Man, we got a full hangout. I think this is the first yeah. time in a long time we got a full house. That's right. Absolutely. I didn't know how else to watch. <laughs> right. well, no, we're, we're, we're streaming on YouTube and Ustream tonight. We're, we're in our usual place on Ustream, and on yeah. So, does anybody else have any questions? We got all these people, so we Some can stuff in the chat room like popped up. Here. Uh, in the chat uh, room, really? Josh Carpenter said, "My laptop just died, and I need to replace it. What are some minimum specs?" I had an Intel i5 with four gigabytes, but still had some latency pops when I recorded. I was recording using a Scarlett 2i2. Well, um, you, well, you didn't say the, the magic. Two two. You didn't say the magic M word, so we know you're not looking for a Mac. So I won't bring that up. I, I will, well, okay, I'll say this one thing. Consistently, MacBook Pros have been the best Windows computers money can buy. There's several reviews online saying that. Okay, that being said, um, <laughs> that was not a typo. Macs are one of the best Windows computers money can buy. Um, that said, the computer specs <laughs> that you were running were more than adequate for voiceover or recording audio. You have to remember, I was recording live concerts to a Pentium 75 laptop like a thinkpad in like 1996 or 97 maybe 98 and it was doing it flawlessly right but the thing was the system was optimized and tweaked and dialed for that job and the thing is nowadays we use our our computers for millions of things i mean you know so many different tasks we're using them for browsing the web we're using them for you know we've got tons of browser tab windows or tabs open in our browser I know I do. I got probably like 15 tabs open in my browser. And we just, we don't, we forget sometimes that we need, even these faster, newer computers, we still have to tweak and optimize them to work really well for audio. So it doesn't really matter. I got to be honest, you could buy any computer made in the last five years. It's going to record audio with no problems at all if it's optimized and set up and tweaked for recording audio. And Windows computers, they need a lot more help because they just were never designed and thought of to make, you know, with, with audio production as their, you know, and media production as their main objective. So they have a lot going on and they tend to, you know, when you're on Windows, you tend to have virus scanners running and malware scanners running and all that stuff um, creates clicks and pops and dropouts in the audio. So you're asking me if there's any tips. Go on Google and type in Windows Audio uh, Optimization or Optimizing Windows for Recording Audio, and you'll find numerous guides that people have typed up on how to tweak your systems. I mean, there's so many things, but one of them is turning off your virus scanners. That's, some, that's like in almost every audio DAW user manual or readme. It says, disable all audio scanners you know, or, or all uh, virus scanners Every on this scanners. computer. Yes. Yeah. Turn off your internet. And yeah, often they'll say turn off Wi Fi. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Gosh, turn off Bluetooth. Yeah, I mean, if you read the yeah. README file for Pro Tools, it's about 25 oh. pages long with all the stuff that you shouldn't do with your computer when you're recording. <laughs> That's sort of a worst case scenario, <laughs> but, you know, take it, to, take, it to, you know, take it to heart a little bit because there's a lot of truth in, in what will make your machines run better. Um, I'm doing this show on a Mac Mini. It's got an SSD, which is a solid-state drive. Makes The only noise, noise that it makes is when the fan runs, and the fan only runs when I'm doing a show like this because I'm using, I'm using 90% 90, 90 of this computer's capability to do this show. It's pretty, really intense for the machine. But for what you guys are doing, it's more than, more than adequate, like many times more than adequate. And I have tons of stuff running. I have all these browsers open and everything, and I do support calls and screen sharing and stuff all day long and it is rock solid but i will say also i have it as i have as much ram in this thing as you can get 16 gigabytes of memory and that may sound insane like totally overkill but well, frankly but it's it. cheap ram memory is a hundred like a hundred bucks for 16 gig and if there's anything you can do to make your computer run really fast it's put a lot of memory in it yeah. so that's my two cents all right. Well, let's go back around the horn here. Suzanne, mm -hmm. you, you, we've been waiting to get you on this show for a long time. Awesome. So, do you have any questions for us? Well, what took you so long? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. There you um, go. Actually, one of my questions, I have a couple, but um, this question just came up recently that made me think about it because it's something that I initially just took as a given. Um, I had recently gotten a 416, 
and it comes with that huge thingamajig on it. Um, the, oh, the the uh, don't get technical now. Yeah. <laughs> the, the doohickey, no, as they say on Southwest. Here. No, not the doohickey. The thingamajig. Oh, is that the thingamajig twenty eleven or twenty twelve? The what's my call two point three. <laughs> well. The big fuzzy thing, the the oh, sock. The the phone phone phone. Right. <laughs> I, I know all about big fuzzy things. <laughs> you, you, you mean this guy? Hey. Exactly. So you, can, you can use it as a as a clown nose. <laughs> you can be an well, elephant for thing. the day. Yeah. Do so, you do you need this object? Yeah, uh, I mean, I just left it. Yeah, you do not need it. Really? Although you you can use it, you, you take it to a football game, and you can be number one. <laughs> <laughs> We're number one. Uh, Miley Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus twerking. An yes. Anti, an anti <laughs> <laughs> or or you can fake like the dogs right in front of you. Oh, good That's, boy, good boy. Okay. Yeah, no, you don't. It's called a windscreen. A it's wind called screen. it's called a windscreen for a good reason. It's to it's it. Remember, the Force 16 was designed as a shotgun mic for video production. And a lot of stuff is done outside, so you use one of these guys to protect the uh, the microphone from a lot of excess wind. But in your studio, if you have it set up right, like I do, uh, and you've and you've got your mic set at about an angle like this. Yes, I do. And you're not talking into the di direct into the diaphragm. You don't need it for anything. Okay. I was just curious because I, that didn't even occur to me that, oh, I should take this thing off. Someone's like, yeah, I think you can. But I just like the way that it sounded no, with it, it on. It, what it, it does is you can. It, it will actually attenuate the, tr the trouble frequencies a little bit. So the sibilance range, it can be, it'll can it maybe back that off just ever so slightly. So mm -hmm. it may not necessarily hurt, in your case, leaving it on. Because right. it does it, actually it, change the sound yeah, For a, a female bit. voice, it may it may help it a little bit but yep. you know your results may may vary you have to experiment try recording something both ways and listen to it back see what you think you like better yeah yeah i mean it just sounded a little bit warmer it wasn't such a drastic difference which is why no. i was you know it had i was wondering like what is the big deal with this it won't be drastic you. it won't be drastic because it's right. designed to be you know as transparent as possible it's not designed right. to change the sound of the mic but it's still inherently does change the sound of the mic a little bit. So, you know, some people like it better with, some like it better without. There's no right or wrong. Cool. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. <laughs> right. Sometimes you, you want know. a big fuzzy thing in which you gain, sometimes you don't. <laughs> right. That is so, so true. Yeah. I had, hadn't quite thought of it that way. <laughs> I am biting my tongue with the, that's what she said. Uh -huh. <laughs> Steve Carell owns that. We're all adults here. Okay. So that was that was my one question. Oh, okay. Good question. That's an excellent question. Steve, what's up yeah. with you? Uh, well, my first question is, does anybody want to buy this? What is it? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> windscreen to your mic. Windscreen from me? I'll buy the 416, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you can, buy, you, can buy, you can buy two. Okay, yeah. I, I, they're easy to... They, people are trying to give them away. I know. Um, my only question is, um, well, you yeah, answered my uh, question that I sent in uh, a few weeks ago with my my fs and my fs when I would uh, record all my right. fire and my... So it seems to be working out better for me now, but I'm wondering about... Um, I'm using Pro Tools a lot. I've got two audiobooks coming up next month. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, Pro Tools or Twisted Wave? Uh, punch and roll or no punch and roll? Um, I'm not really set up for punch and roll, so I mean I could try setting myself up for it, but I think I'd be doing a lot more. I'd have to kind of take apart some stuff and put it all back together. I try like to try and avoid that, and especially if I'm moving. I mean, I want to take the stuff apart and p box it when it's time to be taken apart. Yeah. Well, I, I would I would think uh, you know I in all the audiobooks I've done, I've done most of them in Twisted Wave, because because it's not a real sophisticated program. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But it's never failed on me. It it seems to take longer files much better. And I think that's probably because I think Thomas okay. was originally designing it as like almost a dictation tool. Uh, so it seems to be very, very stable on long reads. And then if you want to throw it into Pro Tools, you just import it into Pro Tools after that. Right. Yeah, it's okay. good crash good crash recovery. If you do have a yeah. file cr a crash okay. or something, it'll recover files and <clears throat> it's kind of nice for that. Um, but if you're not yeah. doing punch and roll, I can't find any really strong arguments for using 
Pro Tools over Twisted Wave. I think once you yeah. find that you're comfortable with Twisted Wave, I think you'll find you work really quickly on it. And the best suggestion I've ever seen so far for long form work is you make a mistake, you make a snap your finger or click your right. click and, and you go back right. and edit at the end and you can find all your mistakes really quickly that way and you can yeah that was in uh dan's uh, tip of the week yep yes sir yeah a little, a little up or something like that like it'll make a pop sound and then you'll be able to, to fix that that's right yeah, so all right um that's my only question and uh if anybody wants to prevent me from putting this on ebay you can make me an offer right now <laughs> <laughs> Him. It's going fast, I can imagine. I'll, I'll give you a tree for day. Just, right. <laughs> Just in time for the holidays. Now it's 385. Yeah. I want the mic that goes in that. No, that's not for sale. That costs uh, extra. Yeah. John, John Bailey, you've not been with us on the on a Hangout, have you? I have not. Well, welcome. I, I usually just watch on uh, on YouTube after it goes on, uh, either live or afterwards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is better, live or the replay? Which is better? <laughs> it doesn't matter because I'm not there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Although I should say that if you guys do get a following, you can actually see the YouTube comments and questions as the show goes on if you open that window up. Oh, we have. Your, your, yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we usually watch this. Any questions for us? Not that you, you don't have the opportunity you, to be actually with us all the time. Um, so was, chat room, and, Devox. Not, not really. The the, uh, the problem I have has nothing to do with uh, with audio uh, voiceover work because you can hear this. That's my laptop. Holy this smoke. Laptop is, <laughs> well, this laptop is crazy. Crazy. I thought that was a lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, this laptop is for, for editing video only, uh, So, I, but it's the only one that has the camera. So uh, the the recording laptop has no fan noise, but there's no camera on it. So in order to be on the Hangout, I had to put on the loud one. <laughs> it's not bad so, right yeah, now. I really I, I use Audacity, and I haven't even never updated. I just I've never even needed it because the type work that I do, I'm done in a few minutes and let the producers hash it out. <laughs> there you go. That's the way to get it done. Yeah, in the Hangout, Devox says. Uh, Speaking of 416, George, didn't you have a 416 mounted as a second mic on a mic boom? Can you show how you do that? Um, I did, and I don't have it hooked up right now. But uh, maybe by the end of the show, I'll have a chance to pull it out. It's in a, it's in a road case right now for my going on the road and doing shows on the road kit. So I don't have it like rigged up right now. If I have it rigged up from when I did that voiceover virtual event, we were using that mic as our um, audience mic. But um, yeah, I don't have to. I don't see the clip. I had I had a shock mount, and then I had another little extra clip that then in turn clipped onto the boom arm up here. So it was just sort of hanging off the boom arm from the bottom. So it allowed me to have two mics on the same arm like that, which was kind of cool because you could easily switch back and forth with a flick of a fader or whatever. So that's all it was. Nothing too fancy. Yeah. Hey, what did everybody who, who here raise your hand if you if you went to voiceover virtual? I did. I don't have a hand. No, no, no. My, I don't have any video, so I'm I'm virtually raising my hand. Okay, all right, Liz, you were there. What did you think of it? I loved it. I'm actually still going through some of the teaching sessions because it was it was so much I couldn't get through all of it in three days. Yeah, really. It was it was a lot. Of, it was a lot that went into it, and uh, you know, I'm glad it, it, we got mostly very, very positive feedback on it. There was you know minor little technical glitches here and there, and uh, but for the most part, you know, I'm, I'm people seem to really enjoy it, and there was a lot of um, it was a lot of social networking, wasn't it? I've heard nothing but good things, guys. Um, Me too. From all, from all Me my too. colleagues here in Toronto. Uh, very successful. You know, kudos to you and John and all the other organizers. Yeah, well, it's still on until the end of November. And you, by the way, if you want to go, you can still register for it. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. So there's so all the all the great videos that are there and and that's available there. And we're also going to be having some live chats there still. Uh, but the probably, discount is over. Yeah, you know, it was over about a month ago. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, you can still get in there, and you can still get access to all the videos in there. So uh, I highly recommend that. 
Cool. Good plug. We need to get a few plugs in I've the show. I've been watching anyway. all the feedback on, on Facebook. Oh, yes. good. Oh, it's, it's been great. Well, George, why don't we take a break right now sure. and uh, throw a spot in there, and uh, we'll be right back here on East West Audio Body Shop with our wonderful lineup of guests. This is a real party. We'll be right back. If you have studio problems, bring them here to eWabs. Let's get back to more problems with Dan Leonard and George Whittem. <laughs> we haven't, haven't played that one in a while. I know. I love the problems. <laughs> yeah, well, we, actually, we, 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 uh, by the way, the thing is, is about voiceover, especially when you're in the production end of things, when you're trying to get things done, it's all problem solving. How am I going to do this? How am I going to... How am I going to make this sound happen like that? Especially when you start getting more into more production work. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and if you're doing video, too, it's all problem solving. It's how, you, how are you going to work out this situation? How are you going to work out It is situation? a lot of problem solving. I found that clip while I, had, while I had that break. So here's the clip, right? So it's, it's a regular shock mount type thing that you know the mic is sitting in. But then it has this little addition at the end, and this is what I'm using as the clip. Where did it come from? It actually was something I salvaged off of a, a pop screen, one of those gooseneck pop screens. It had a, um, it had a uh, this clip on it. It looks like a regular like spring clip that you'd put a you know microphone in, but then it's got uh, uh, a wing nut so you can really make it tight and secure. And then it just threads Ooh. into here. And then I was putting it on the boom arm, kind of like this. So it was just sort of clipped and hanging off the boom arm like that. There you go. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Oh, we finally got that one figured out. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the video. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You'll have to watch it and replay. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, see your beautiful say, uh, headshot. That's I know. Just can't repeat uh, something like that. Exactly. It's uh, no, just one of the annoying limitations of my Ustream producer software. I can't share my camera with you guys at the same time. To drag, uh, it. but we'll be able to see it in the replay. You will see it in the replay, yes. Okay, cool. Yep, I promise. I have a question that I remembered while standing here sweating my butt off. Um, <laughs> I have heard, I, I have heard rumors. Sometimes I, I, I can't seem to get away. I'll get my jobs usually are very, very short. Right. But sometimes I just cannot seem to get out of the studio. Like two seconds after I finish one, or while I'm finishing one, another one will call, and then another one will call, and sometimes I get stuck in here for four hours at a time. And yeah. that's a bad thing. Yeah, oh, that's I've heard rumors. Terrible, just horrible. Uh, I feel, I feel for you. Guys. <laughs> that's not yeah. the problem. The problem is being stuck in here for four hours. There's no air in here. I've heard rumors of a noiseless fan that actually keeps the room cool. And I was wondering uh -huh. if you guys had heard about that. Oh, oh it was posted on. It was well, on Facebook. Well, I'll have to find there's that. There's a couple. There, there's the. Yeah, well, there's there's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, one is by building a ventilation system, which is actually cheaper than the other answer, but. It takes a little bit of finagling. It depends on you know if you own the house you're in. All right, now are you in a, in a in a whisper room or a uh, or a closet or where where are you in there? Uh, I'm in a bathroom uh, that I converted <laughs> into a studio. Oh, so okay. If I get nervous, there's a toilet right over here to my. That's <laughs> That's awesome, actually. That's good. But no, hours, if I had a mini fridge in here, I could live in here for that the sounds like an life. awesome man cave. Yeah, really. Yeah, I got I got all the toys that I voiced over here on my shelf. 
if you got a toilet, there's that's water too. So I really only need food. Great TV though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have the internet in here, and I have two screens, so I can watch Netflix. Have I never s- have to leave. Have you seen the water fountain? You can mount to the top of your toilet, so you can drink that's out of your toilet. That's what the tank is for. Just get a hose. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, getting back to some semblance of order here. Um, uh, so was was there ever a, a, an exhaust fan in the bathroom there? Uh, the problem is I live within FedEx's flight path, and I'm at FedEx's main hub near Mem- the Memphis airport. Oh, so they, they're yeah. less than a mile over my house, and between 3 and 5 Central, every s- few seconds, they go over the house over and over and over again. So what I did was I padded the ceiling and threw it, went into the attic and threw some extra weight just to thicken up that, that thinness so it would drown out a little bit of that noise. And I stuffed towels through the bathroom fan because every, every bathroom has one to get rid of said things that go on in the bathroom so that helps block out some noise but we can fix that and we and we okay. can use it and we can use that fan is the room airtight uh it's pretty airtight yeah okay well it's not completely airtight there i mean air is still getting through underneath the door and stuff like that no i have one of those weather strips that's a big thick one that goes around the uh the entire doorway to kind of keep in any extra wind noise or any so it's right. it's pretty it's hard to close and open so it's pretty tight Right. What we can what we can do is you have to go up in the attic because that's where the conduit for the uh, for the f- exhaust fan is, and what we do is you, we build a muffler, and it actually it looks like a muffler, um, where you take like see I, I like reducing this down to the most simplest things and when and the fact is is they work better <laughs> than some more expensive things. Yeah. Uh, and I actually I'm I'm actually in the process of creating a video about it. You create a oh. baffle that's lined with with Orlex foam, and you put uh, you, you create it so there's um, the right diameter of the of the vent, and one end goes in one end, one goes in the other end, and then the air goes through, and you've got Orlex foam lining this whole thing. It just totally deadens noise coming from the outside, and it deadens the sound of air movement. And and that and if you can get an airflow in there, that works. That's what I'm using in this in this booth here. And I haven't had any problems at all, and I can I can be in there for hours at a time. And although I don't want to be in there for hours at a time, you know, if you're doing long format narration, yeah, you got to do that. But uh, if you 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 can't be in a place, it probably gets warm in there too. Oh, it, it gets very very stuffy in here. I, yeah. My solution solution so far has been to frequently change shirts and and keep a lot of water bottles in here, yeah. so. or or stop and open the door and swing the door a bunch of times. I, I do that whenever I'm I'm rendering, and because I can't open more than one window for Audacity while it's rendering at a time. Right. Uh, while it renders, I let the air get in because there's no way I'm going to be recording at the same time. So. Right. Right. Well, that's that's one way you can deal with it. The other way is this great unit that George and I saw in uh, at, over at um, Mark Cashman's place. And Mark has a wonderful studio. Uh, Mitsubishi makes a ductless uh, air conditioner that's absolutely silent. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's it ain't quiet. cheap. No. Yeah, but but it is, but it is magnificently quiet. It's like eighteen. Well, I'm obviously like... wealthy, so that doesn't seem to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. In no, your I'm, bathroom, are yeah. we all? I mean, we're here, so we got to be wealthy. I, I just assume <laughs> we all we all work in our bathrooms. Right. <laughs> no, uh, uh, yeah, it's called the Mister Slim. It's made by Mitsubishi. Um, parts and labor to have one installed. You're looking at about four Gs. Uh, four to five G's and um, versus, versus suffocation. So I mean, right. it's, you know, the I'm, thing is, I'm though, confused with Slim Jim. Something to keep in mind, though, about that unit is it doesn't supply fresh air. All it's no, doing it just, is taking the air in cool the room in and recirculating cool. it. So yeah. you can have cool, beautifully uh, dry <laughs> um, carbon dioxide to breathe. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you know, For it'll cool the room team. down, but it won't they circulate the air. They should use that in their literature. <laughs> right. Maybe I should just punch a hole in the wall and get an air <laughs> air tube and a mask and just do this between the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Insert potty humor here. <laughs> or one of those exhaust systems like uh, in Breaking Bad that they had with uh, working for Gus. It seems like that would be too loud. Tubes. Though. Yeah. Too loud to you record the, in there. If you put the fan far enough away yeah, in the attic. Somebody comes by who knocks, you know? <laughs> if you, yeah. <laughs> so so uh, uh, so uh, 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 an Orlex baffle, and you can build one like in an HP printer box. If you can, and everybody's got one of those sitting in their basement, uh, unless you're in California, in which no basement. In case oh. you don't have a basement, uh, but um, 
and and that's a great way to really move air through because I've got a fan on this thing that moves 250 cubic feet a minute, and there's only 90 cubic feet in my booth, so I'm replacing the air constantly in there, and there's it, no noise gets in from from there. It just comes in through the window. That was a joke, folks, but we don't all have to laugh. They didn't cue the sign. They didn't cue the laughter sign. <laughs> You're the audio guy. Shouldn't you have a laugh track going or something? <laughs> we'll do that in post. Yes. Yeah, I'll be editing the show later or not. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Anybody else got some questions for us? Chris, you got anything for us? You came all this way. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh... Do I have a stupid halo above my head or something? No. It's it's very godlike. No? Okay. Just some uh, thinning hair like me. Yeah. I am actually kind of I'm every day I'm sort of tinkering with my uh, treatment, my audio, my setup. I actually live right near LaGuardia Airport. Mm. So, um, but I actually do a pretty good job of being able to. Um, Oh, wow. Speaking of the <laughs> wow. Nice timing. <laughs> All right. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, prove it. Was it. Awesome. That was terrific. I'll take I'm the same boat you're in, my friend. <laughs> well, they well they they just recently started like rerouting the planes over my apartment. Um and uh, <laughs> it's just kinda it's kinda crazy, but I, I've managed to like deal with it in a certain way. I have a very high noise gate on my microphone, but um it works, you know. I've um I just Trying to figure out what the next step would be. Um, I'm curious. Downstairs or, or downstairs? Yeah, move to Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's actually house for sale. House for sale, right here. <laughs> are are you upstairs or downstairs? I'm curious. I'm on the fourth. Uh, I'm on the fourth floor. So how do you deal with the noise of just people walking and bumping around above and below? Oh no, it's a one floor apartment. Oh, it's one floor. Okay, well, yeah, never mind. Floor. Right, lucky, lucky man. Yeah. So, I mean, they're not rerouting. The, they're not routing the planes over my apartment every single day, but it's like, it's like every Thursday or Saturday. So, it's it sometimes it, you know, and then when it rains, it's kind of crazy. They just they reroute them over my place like constantly. When there's whenever there's whenever it's foggy or there's like some kind of a storm, it's really weird. But, I, um, yeah, I used to live right next to, next to LAX, and whenever there was a shift in the weather patterns, all of a sudden. They were taken off, uh, you know, just a half a mile from my house. So, <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know, it's interesting because, like, land when they're landing, it's like there's less there's less noise. Right. But when they're right. taking off, it's oh just, yeah, it's ridiculous. Of course. Yeah. Landing I can deal with, but the you know the, the taking off is holy shit. <laughs> yeah. <crazy>. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, that's that's the problem with LaGuardia because it really is an urban airport, um, you know, and it's yeah. a heavily populated area. Whereas Kennedy is a little bit further away and uh, it's right by the water. Yeah. Yeah, and it, 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 well, so is LaGuardia, but uh, yeah, Memphis but International is only like three miles away from here. Right. So, yeah, yeah, and you've got those big FedEx planes flying. Yep, in there. every between between yeah, three and um, five and late at night every day. Uh, well, uh, yeah, really, because actually that's all busy, that's all night traffic there, isn't it? Then most yeah. of it is, but between three and five, that's when it seems everybody calls, and I'm like, I just can't. There's no way I can call you right now. Yeah. Well, John, where John, where do you live? I live right one mile south of the Memphis uh, of the state line between Tennessee and Mississippi, so I'm oh, okay. right next to Memphis. And you're, you're, I would imagine you're, you're dealing with a lot of L.A. clients, right? Yes, everything I do okay. is uh, on, on L.A.'s time. Right, right. I cool. also had, at the first studio I ever recorded at, they, they built their studio. This is a protection company, and they built it within a few miles of the train, and they didn't realize it until after they put the boots in. <laughs> Whoops. Wow. Whoopsie. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I mean, are you, Christian, it's, it's an apartment you're renting? Yeah, it's an apartment I'm renting. Um... And, I mean, for the most part, I've been, it's, it works. Like, I found a way to make it work. I have these uh, Shoji panel dividers, these three panel dividers on hinges. Yeah. And I put a lot of moving cloth and Oral X on there. And yeah. I've, made it, I've made it work. And I have, like, a roof on top, like a board with some Oral X foam. And then I have some foam around my apartment scattered around. Um, you can see it behind me just a little bit. Yeah. Um, and it and it it's it's worked, it's worked. But you know, it would help if I had like a, you know, down the line. Because if I'm going to be doing a lot more promo and I'm going to be in my, you know, the golden handcuffs, so to speak, I'm going to need to be in my place like 24/7. So, 
you know, I want to have like the best setup, you Studio know, Bricks. without having to go to like I know Studio Bricks, but yeah, I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Well, also, if you're going to be doing promo, you're probably using a 416, which also helps out a whole lot because you'll be a little bit more close mic'd and uh, you can. Uh, it's easier to isolate yourself with one of those. So. Well, I actually use a. Um, I am actually using right now. It's an alternative to the 416. I'm using the Rode. Yeah. Rode NTG2. Yeah. 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 Which it's is a great mic. It's, it's good. Pretty low. It's pretty low frequency sensitive. Yeah. I found it's pretty boomy. So it, it'll even pick up more low frequency yeah. noise than a 416. So you got to watch okay. out for that on yeah. that mic. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting to note. Uh, people send me lots of mustache stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Why is uh, that, man? I, I I don't know. It's you know, yeah, even, this is a side uh, business of yours. You know that, eh? I I, I know. It, I've invested heavily in the mustache <laughs> consortium. Um, <laughs> Even my sister, who I don't talk to very much, sent me a mood ring, a, a mustache mood ring. Get the envelope. It was gone. It wasn't even in the envelope. No. Oh, it's like maybe she didn't really put it. In. But I, this is somebody's been put, giving me weird stuff like this. Now this one is, it's a pen, but you can, uh, you know, use it just in case. But it also, but it, it says this. Listen, listen to what it says. <laughs> that <laughs> joke, <Nukum? laughs> I'm not positive, but I, I think got balls of steel. <laughs> Hello there. That's, that's Dick Nukem. Right. Somebody, <laughs> somebody had to record that. That's it true. Was John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The very next line is, "I got balls of steel." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. You know, I was, I was thinking you should create your own line of microphones with a, a custom mustache metal design on the back of the mic, so when they hold it up to their faces. There you go, <laughs> own brand well, right I, there. Well, I've, I've got it on studio suit, so I mean, I, there's the mustaches on there. Maybe oh, just and then the pop the, then there was this one. Somebody sent me this. If you can, if you can catch this, it says emergency mustache. <laughs> yeah. You never know when you're going to need one. <laughs> so Funny, keep man. those cards and letters and mustaches coming. Yeah. All right, I'm going to jump to another break real quick, and then yeah. uh, we can come come, come up with a couple more things, and we can say good night. So uh, stand by, everybody. So hang in there. And we'll be right back. We'll see you in a minute. In a yeah. minute. You'll do a better job reading your script when you don't need to worry about all the engineering stuff that comes along with it. So stop worrying about file conversions, editing out mouth clicks and ventilation hum, not to mention processing EQ and compression levels and all that stuff. Lots of voice actors find it faster, easier, and more time effective to just send it to us and tell us what they need done and when they need it back by. We've done it thousands of times for thousands of voice actors. EdgeStudio.com VO Studio Tech. Recording made simple. Hi, I'm Peter McHugh. This is Jim Tasker from Los Angeles, California. Hi, this is Bill Ratner in Los Angeles. Hi, this is Scott Rummel here in Yorba Linda, California. Hi, my name is Rick Wasserman. Hi, this is Tom Kane. Hi, my name is Vanessa Marshall. Hi, my name is Zurich. Hi, I'm Mary McKittrick. Randy Thomas chiming in. Hi, this is Joe Szymanski. Hey, this is Rick Robles. Hi, my name is John Patrick Armstrong. I was turned on to George by none other than Don LaFontaine, who always swore by his help. George is absolutely awesome. ISDN, Source Connect, Phone Patch, FTP, you name it, Georgia set it up. It's really the best thing I've ever done for myself. I feel free, safe, fearless, like anything is possible in here. Unless you like to look for opportunities to waste time, call George. And he did all of that, long distance over the phone and the internet. I'm very happy with George and uh, I cherish Thanks, George. You make it easy. And now back to the only webcast done with two cans, two geeks, and a string. East West Audio Body Shop with George Winham on his end in the West and Dan Leonard in the East. Some very expensive oh, string. Right. Yes. The first time I met Andy Dufresne was in 1925. One day you're going to have to get rid of the strings, guys, and go with an XLR cable or something. Yeah, really. Yeah. Did, you guys, yeah. did you guys, just recently on TBS, they were airing the movie The Love Guru? 
terrible, <laughs> oh, a terrible that. movie, right? Uh, uh, but oh, you yeah. just have to watch the first <laughs> two minutes when uh, <laughs> when he's playing, he's doing a voiceover recording into his his <laughs> his voiceover recording machine, and, and like he has the yeah. switch set to uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just watch that part and then just turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anybody actually watches any of the videos that I do, but I did a great April Fool's joke because I get a lot of people saying, "How do you do that voice? How do you do that voice?" So I right. got a stud finder, and I was like, "Okay, here's my secret. Here's how you do the voice. You just put it right here, and you can sound like this." And everybody's stud like, finder. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. <laughs> <laughs> or I just took my son. I took my son to see the uh, Cloudy with Meatballs on the weekend, and uh, Morgan Freeman's in an upcoming movie. Uh, he's playing a Lego character. I had a tough time seeing Morgan with his deep voice, and you see the square Lego block character. That's weird. <laughs> the guy uh, just I just don't miss that movie. I just worked in that movie. I have to watch it now. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? I can't say what for, but I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Good stuff. All right. Any anybody else have some questions for us? We can. Um, it's like we don't. We we keep thinking. We're going to run out of stuff to talk about on this show, but we never do because you guys keep coming up with great questions. Do you have a special comb for your mustache? A special comb? <laughs> uh, I, no, I, I have a regular comb. Oh, I thought he might have a little mustache comb. Yes, no, it's... Well, I actually I have a mustache brush. <laughs> There's an airplane taking over. Yeah, that's, like, kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> I have one of those for my back, so. I look like Dan Leonard on the when I turn around in my yeah. show. Yeah, Kachita, Kachita, you had another it. question. Let's see it. Let's see it. What? What? No, 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 no don't do that. Yeah, let's see don't it. Do that. Well, you keep your shirt on. This, this is a family show. It's a G-rated okay. show. Rated yeah. G. I don't know yeah. for me. Yeah, Conchita, you had another question, no, my, didn't you? My my question was answered actually during the course of the show, so I thank you very much. There's <laughs> nothing new under the sun. Nothing new under the sun. <laughs> That's true. Let's see. Well, the the um, the Banjo Emporium catalog came today. Look <laughs> out! <laughs> Let's all flip uh, through it together, shall we? Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, Let's see here. Page one. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, somebody come up with a question. <laughs> Pat, come up with a question. I don't know. Anybody have broken I, screens I, on I, their phones right now, like I do? Nope. Smashed what? cell phone screen. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. All right. Next topic. All right. I had one, and then I just asked for another one because it got. I had insurance. Me too. Ninety-nine dollar deductible, and I got a new one. Yeah, mine was only yeah. fifty. Any, wah, wah, wah. Any, Sweet. Any, anything else, Suzanne? Oh, sure. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> now, I do use Pro Tools. Mm -hmm. So, Pro Tools on a Mac, and um, one of the—I don't know how familiar you are with—it's um, Pro Tools Eight, and there's a debreather or something in there. And I noticed that when I do try to use it, it normalizes everything. Oh, well, the settings. Is a deep breather that comes with Pro Tools 8? Yeah. That's news to me, man. Hmm. You must hmm. have installed that later. Did it come bundled with it or something? I have no idea. I just put the stuff in and installed it, and that's what I use. Huh. Don't, don't. Use it. Those deep breather tools don't no, work. No, I don't. Oh, okay. Tricky, no, because tricky. I was just for no. me to use. Um, to, I do it manually, but of course it yeah. takes a lot longer. And that was. I just thought I was maybe not getting the hang of it, or it was one of those things where you have to put it at a certain point to get it to work. Or yeah, well, I mean, those things use a ton. They take a ton of tweaking to get right, and you'll spend more time tweaking it and fixing uh, all the mistakes that it makes than if you actually were to just do it manually. Or really? use some different kind of breath ah, techniques. Slice. Okay. Because, I mean, there's um, we, the Waves makes one, I think. A couple companies make debreathing tools, mm -hmm. and they can be really expensive several, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. And at the end of the day, they still screw up. They still will catch an S and think it's an, an, you know, a, breath, a breath. Or yeah. they'll catch the end of a phrase. And it'll, if, you, if you're doing something that's subtle, or you're getting into a breathy read, 
or you're reading softly at the tail end of a read, it'll think, oh, that's extraneous crap. I'll just chop that out of there. And then you go back and listen to it, and you're like, oh, I'm missing the F on this word, and I'm missing the yeah. S on this word. Yeah, it just sounded very unnatural, and I just thought maybe I was doing something wrong, because I, I do see on like the different forums and stuff, people are raving about these tools, and I'm like, yeah. really? It's there's, not working for me. <laughs> there's no real magic bullet. I mean, J.S. Gilbert in the chat room said, Antares' replacement for debreathalyzer is pretty good. <laughs> debreathalyzer. Um, that's, I guess that's what they call it. But the thing is, it's pretty good. None of these yeah. tools just work. None of them are perfect. Yeah, I've, I've always been of the opinion to just do it manually. Just mm. highlight it and take it down 15 dB after you've done all your processing and stuff. It creates a much more natural breath. And, um, you know, and then that way you have complete control. I find that if you if we start using all these plugins to do all these things automatically, there's a trade-off in there. You're going to there's going to be certain losses of quality, yeah. and you've got as, as George yeah. was saying, you've got to be able to set all these parameters just right. If you don't understand specifically what those parameters are doing, that's when you're going to start running into trouble. So yeah. I've always gone on the philosophy: if you don't know what something does, you probably don't need it. Need it. <laughs> What, what? I had a thing where uh, Joe Cipriano taught me how to do just you, you grab some room sound, record some room sound, and I go in and I cut and paste that in over the breaths, and that seems to work out for me okay. Ah, okay. If you want to de-breath completely. Yeah. yeah. I have a question. You're sneaky, you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What, what is ducking on Twisted Wave? Oh, can I explain that one? Sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. The original duck. Aflac! <laughs> 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 ducking, ducking refers to how you put uh, a music bed underneath your voice. So, okay. like, if you have a if you have a loud music bed at the beginning of something, uh, what a duck will do is it ducks the audio underneath ah. the, that. Mm -hmm. And what and physically you do it with a with a with a, a line. Is that in Twisted Wave? I never have to do this in uh. Twisted Wave. It might, an be an, it might be an iMovie or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that sounds like iMovie. Yeah, there's there's an auto duck in iMovie. Yeah, there's also an there's also an auto duck in in, uh, in ScreenFlow. Which George, which there's George an auto duck in Audacity in. also. Whoa, yeah, whose I voice know. is that? I know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you just click on that and it, it will it will it will God was it will lower the audio so it creates a a a music bed the music bed will go underneath your voice. But you still got to play with it a little bit. There's a number of parameters to it. Right. So if you're doing if you're doing production where you put music underneath, yeah, that, that's what you use, that's what you use a duck for. Okay. And that's how you use it. You yeah, right, sound like you're on the radio. On that one. It's great for radio. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Right, Mike, make a note of that one. That's that's tip of the week for next week. <laughs> hey, let me remind you, Dan. You did a uh, webinar on that with John at one point in time. Oh, yeah, we talked. We talked about uh, basic production techniques. So that one's mm -hmm. still available over at, uh, at Voiceover Extra. And uh, so, oh, if I you have that one. Oh, well, it's a good one. Isn't it going to be a Dan Leonard webinars dot com <laughs> someday? Sooner or later, I'm <laughs> hoping. <laughs> I died years I ago know. holding my breath for that one. Yeah. Well, we'll last <laughs> eventually. Last question. Yes. Or okay. Um, <laughs> Studio Bricks, a Studio Bricks booth. Do they assemble it for you, or do you have to assemble it yourself when they when you get it? <laughs> it's it's like it's a big Lego set. Okay, you guy, you you okay. assemble it yourself. Uh, All right, thanks a lot for your help. I get it. And it's either one of the <laughs> easiest to assemble or one of the hardest. Um, I had a what? client recently who got one, and it sat in receiving or something on a loading dock for a really long time, or at least you know a couple weeks in a really hot place in Vegas oh. and um, when it sat there that long mm. some like parts of it swelled up and so when he went yeah. to put it back to when he put it together the pieces didn't just latch together easily he had to use force with like a oh, mallet geez. and stuff and bang all the pieces together and it took him several days so, so, <laughs> so it can either take like an hour or a few days depending if you're lucky or not but um, in general it, it goes together pretty damn fast it's like Legos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like like what was it like four or five pieces or five, six pieces? You got a floor. If you were, and, honestly, and it fits together in this weird way. 
the ventilation has been improved. It's a lot better than it was. The newest clients, the clients of mine have it now. They're saying that the newest ventilation that just came with it is pretty effective and quiet enough that they can run it at like half speed and still work in there. Um, acoustically, they need work. They stock acoustic treatment in there, just like every other voiceover booth I've ever seen and heard is not adequate and it needs additional acoustical treatment right out of the box. Um, these guys that build these booths, they sure know how to make a cool looking booth that sounds, you know, it's pretty quiet inside, but they don't know how to do acoustics. Um, you know, so it needs extra acoustical treatment. At least they don't know how to do acoustics for voiceover. And voiceover needs a really, really high level of treatment that any musician probably wouldn't need. Um, and, um, the best booth I've dealt with lately from a, just a pure performance standpoint as to how good it sounded out of the box, how quiet the ventilation was, and all that was a vocalbooth.com platinum, diamond platinum series, blah, 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 blue booth, you know, but, you know, <laughs> eight, ten grand. I think those things ten start grand. at like eight to ten thousand dollars. That's right in my budget. Yeah. They are, uh, I'm coming over to your house, Kristen. They're, a, right, <laughs> now we're talking. they're even a lot more expensive than the Studio Bricks, and Studio Bricks is coming by boat from uh, five. Spain. <laughs> Guy's going to pedal it over to my apartment. <laughs> right. So, anywho. All right. Gretsch Kens are pretty nice, too. Somebody mentioned, announcer, Doug said, Gretsch Kens are nice, too. Gretsch Kens are cool. They're kind of interesting. They go together without tools. Um, not necessarily, that isn't necessarily a good thing, because <laughs> I've had to assemble one. But, uh, yeah, it goes together pretty quickly. The Whisper Rooms go together like the best IKEA furniture you've ever had. Like, where every hole lines up, the screws, everything, it goes together so beautifully. But ventilation is the weak spot and you have to improve the ventilation and the acoustics there's no perfect ventilation there's no perfect booth out there yet yeah well the, the, especially in a home studio which is a an inherently imperfect environment so we do yeah. the best we can with what we got which is why closets are great and you know and the booths are great but you've got to have the right ventilation yeah. i think it's time that i do the video on the ventilation piece george yeah yeah yes. no it's definitely time I, I'll I'll build another one and, and auction it off or something. Um, I I will say this real quick about booths. Like if you can work in a bigger room, always pick a bigger room than the smaller room. Like if if you're lucky enough to be in a quiet enough area and you're able to soundproof enough that room to make it workable, working in a larger room is always more comfortable and it always sounds better. Just does when there's more room for the sound to dissipate and diffuse. Um, when the room is larger, it resonates at a much lower frequency, so it doesn't resonate right in the middle of the vocal range. It's just, it's very difficult to get a sound that sounds as good and even and natural um, in a tiny space in a little booth than you can in a larger room. You know, but unless, we don't want, you know. Yes. Yeah, unless you're using studio suit. Well, of course, the studio suit helps <laughs> tremendously. That's, but again, uh, it'll still, it will never sound like a larger just, it room. It just totally solves that. The small room problem. <clears throat> it does a good job of m yeah. low to that mid frequency like no control. Yeah, I mean, if you go to commercial studios, most of them you'll find that you're not going to be in a tiny booth. You're going to be in a large yeah. room, and that's for a good reason. Because some just of them with better. brick walls, which is I find fascinating. But that's, yeah, uh, yeah, an exposed brick wall. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Just a quick question, uh, George. Um, I had my architect over today. I'm uh, going to be building a uh, professional studio. When you say um, a larger room. What would be the ideal size of that larger room? Are you talking maybe 12 by 8 feet, 10 by 6? Uh, how, how big is larger? How big is larger? That's, well, that's a good question because I wasn't very specific, but bigger than, I'm bigger gonna be than 10 a, by a 12. Room a room. I'm going to be up in a loft area, and it's a large room. Yeah, I, It's going to be difficult to you know plug every hole. Um, yeah. and I'm going to be hearing planes and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm going to have a floating room within a room, and I was just yeah. wondering how big that floating room is going to be. Uh, as big as you can fit. I mean, a 10 okay. by 12 or bigger. I mean, uh, ideally, and then you want a high a ceiling, as high a ceiling as possible. That's another thing that makes small studio sounds not so great is when the ceiling is really low, eight feet or lower, yeah. you know, is not ideal. A high ceiling is, or even a vaulted ceiling is really awesome because then the sound goes up and it, bounces off the angled ceiling and kind of gets diffused yeah. and uh and one 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 other question uh, it, it's not a square room I, i'm literally in the loft and my roof is like this now i've got yeah. a, angles to work with yeah is, is that ideal to maybe yeah. take advantage of those angles sure 
Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I I would. I open up the ceiling, make more open headroom. Um, the more headroom, the more space above you, the better, because the sound can diffuse and dissipate more naturally that way. And uh, man, it really can sound a lot better. Yeah, if, it is. It is kind of a cubic inches thing, right? J J S mentioned it's about volume of the room more than it is about you know uh, dimensions. And if you can okay. increase the volume by going more vertical then by all okay. means. But the less parallel the walls and the less uh, even dimensions, the better. You know, our 8 by 8 by 8 room is the absolute worst. Worst. Yeah. And any voiceover booth that you buy that's a 4 by 4 they tend to be one of the worst because now you've got two sets of walls who are perfectly in parallel and perfectly resonate with certain frequencies. So, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to have two sets of walls that are the exact same distance, 4 by 4 8 by 8 because it just makes it even worse. So, um... So height is um, better than width. Um, yeah, within within reason, yes, within reason, yes. But uh, yeah, if you can go vertical, you know, you want the walls to be as far away from the microphone as possible <laughs> in an ideal sure. world. So if you and the ceiling counts as a wall. So if you can get the ceiling higher away from the mic, that's going to reduce some of the def the you know some of the muddiness that you're going to get. Standing waves. And standing waves okay. and stuff but yeah, yeah the exactly. stuff like studio suit works so well because it covers such a tremendous amount of space like it covers such a large amount of square footage of the area around the microphone when you use studio suit and that's one reason it works so well and the other reason it works so well is it has a dense material inside that does Not a better all job that of, dense no uh, it's a great product it's, it's more dense than you bring foam. it to fafcon dan yeah what's you're that you're gonna bring it you're bringing I, it to uh, I, am, I, am, I am bringing a six by eight with me to fafcon excellent so, uh, yeah, I just sent off five sheets to Hawaii today. Oh, she did. She, she went for it, huh? She went for it. So, cool. uh, so Honolulu will now be properly dampened. She was looking <laughs> at a lot of options, and I recommended this product to her, and I think the shipping was scaring her off, but you must have found yeah. a good way to ship it to her. Well, here, here's the thing about the shipping, because I, I went over to this place where I do all my shipping from, Yeah, and it was actually mo a lot more reasonable than I thought, and then we're looking at it like, how are we sending this to Hawaii ground? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Somebody finally wished for that bridge, I think. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it, it gets to San Francisco and they're like, um, <laughs> did she use that? Did It'll she, float there eventually. Did she use that special Hawaii shipping depot service in California? No, no, it was, it was too expensive. Okay. So, so how did you ship it? Shipped it. It's it's being shipped FedEx. FedEx. They call it their ground service. Yeah, but I mean, if they have to have ground service to Hawaii, I mean, they, maybe they put it on a ship. I don't know. I It'll have no be there in a week. That's all I care. It ain't a ship then. <laughs> I had no idea that they did that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. Wow. You should uh, take advantage of some uh, new Hawaiian shirts too with your new I know. Yeah. <laughs> Spruce I, I, them up I, a little bit. I asked her to send me a picture, you know, of a palm tree, which she did. <laughs> so anyway, um, hey, we got to talk about Harlan. Oh man, Harlan! We almost forgot our buddy Harlan. Harlan. H squared. Harlan. Everybody, H hold up your Harlan stuff. Anybody have Harlan stuff? Oh, yeah. We'll go Harlan around. Stuff. Whoever has oh, Harlan stuff. Mine's upstairs. I I only have the Harlan stuff. stuff. I sort of have a Harlan thing. Hold on. I only have the Harlan shuffle. I I, I just have, I just have the Amy <laughs> mitt. Um, my Harlan headphones on. Steve does. I wish, I wish he should. I, I also have the Harlan oh, Davidson. Oh oh oh! I've got I've got my sign. <laughs> Which, by the way, Dan, last kind week of, somebody kind in the of sort of. Asked what was that, Lee? About how it changed colors. Oh, I I got this thing at, at at Lowe's. It's this little LED thing. And it's like four different bulbs in it, and it just, I have it, cha it changes colors. It's and Christmas it, all year round. Wow. It's Christmas all year round. I don't remember who that's asked. Lovely. That. Yeah, no, but that's, that's what it is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pre programmed uh, uh, little thing. So I adapted Harlan's thing to make it even better. <laughs> is there a Harlan Davidson in the works, Barney Jim? Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. But anyway, go over to VoiceOver Essentials because if it's VoiceOver, he's got it. And that's the name of that tune, as Robert Blake used to say. Go on there and listen to the sound sample I recorded that's on the VO1A microphone page, comparing it to the U87. Just wow. just for yucks. Just for yucks. Take a listen and see what you think. 
I recorded them in the same is. space in the same studio. Yeah, and with the same preamp channel and everything. And just listen to the two and tell me, you know, is it worth the extra twenty seven hundred dollars or not? You know, it's pretty close. Pretty yeah. close. All right. Thank you, Harlan. Well, folks, VoiceOverEssentials.com. Yeah. Dot cam. Dot cam. Dot oh, cam. Yeah, dot ca yeah, would be dot, dot cam. would be you know, would be you know up in Canada. Oh, dot ca, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so so we we got a we got a we got a minute here, so everybody gets fifteen seconds to say goodbye and say something motivational and deep. Whoa. So we'll, we'll start all the way from. Let's start with, with Suzanne. Oh, we're, 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 we're our way down. Yeah, um, you're on. Thank you for a lovely evening. That's all I got. You're welcome. <laughs> the pleasure was all ours. Steve. I'm um, glad I was able to figure out how to get in here. Um, still up for sale is this. And uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, uh, Fisher Price Bubble Guppy spot on TV. On uh, That's my latest spot right now. So check it out if you've got kids. <gasps> cool. Bubble Guppies. Bubble Guppies. Uh, Swim Stational School and uh, Words of Wisdom. Tread lightly, my friends. Tread lightly. Excellent. Pat? I have nothing to say. Thanks very much for the show, guys. Great meeting uh, everybody tonight. Uh, I'm looking forward to going to FAFCON on Thursday. Uh, if anybody's uh, not gone, you got to check it out one day. It's an amazing experience. Um, other than that, thanks very much, guys. I'm just looking forward to seeing you, Pat. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's gonna You're be a sick fun of time. me. I know, but 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 the, but the the you know never mind. Okay, yes. <laughs> digging holes. Liz, you still in there? I'm still here. <laughs> yes, I've, I'm just lurking. But uh, thank you very much, and <laughs> live long and prosper. Thank you, <laughs> Lee Great. Penny. Hello. Oh. Oh, this Lee Penny. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, it, you know, you should never carry too much cash in your pocket when you're in a casino. Ah, yes. Words of wisdom. Uh, I don't know. That's all I got. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Lee. John. Danger. I am the danger. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, you can check me out at johnbaileyvo.com. I offer coaching, and you can see the spots that I've worked on most recently, the Breaking Bad trailers that came on yesterday during the series finale. And, uh, yeah, and you can also subscribe at youtube.com slash john3.0, 3PNT0. Right on. Outstanding. Conchita, it's been a pleasure having you tonight. It's been a pleasure to be here, and I want to thank you for making me get up to speed with the 21st century. That was hot. <laughs> or, wow. or slow down for... Whoa! Uh, <laughs> that is <laughs> badass. Right in time for Carrie. Whoa! Yes. <laughs> oh, this is pleasure with this. She should do trailers. Do, do, me a favor, do me a favor, say your mother's in here with us. Yes. Your Pleasure having you with us. Conchita, Conchita, it sounds like you have a Darth Vader filter on your audio yeah. right now. We don't know why, but it sounds <laughs> crazy. I wonder what that is. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's, that is it's, a sexy voice. Yes. <laughs> That's the Rodney Salisbury converter. There you go. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I took him out of Rodney's workshops. <laughs> <laughs> say, say the Death Star will be completed on the famous voice actor, too, if you sign over your soul to her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying me. <laughs> we are. We are. Scary Thank you <laughs> for making us laugh. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Oh, there's the sound effect. <laughs> that was the half an hour ago. <laughs> that was me. That was me. That was me. It's been fun. Alrighty. <laughs> Thank Christian you. Roselli. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a joy. It's been a lot of fun. This is hilarious. I'm definitely going to sign up for this again. Um, let's see. I've got – I just booked a national radio spot for BP. It's for the Super Bowl. Um, oh, nice. That's coming up. Congrats. So, nice. yep, what the so, hell am I on this show for? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, ch uh, listen, listen for that on a sports radio lead. or something. Um, and uh, words of encouragement, I guess. Two things. Don't take things personally. And number two, get it in writing. 
Ah. All right. Good advice. Good Can advice. I just say one thing? Is my voice normal Yeah, now? it is now. Now it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll put you it's back. Fine. It's better the other way. I want to start. It's scary. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention, everybody should go check out the epic movie trailer voice prank. It did really well. <laughs> epic movie voice trailer prank. Um, what did you What did you change, Conchita? Did you change anything? Uh, yes, I did. I saw the little box. She just had an exorcism. She said says, prayer. And, <laughs> and she drank some holy water. <laughs> <laughs> she gargles with holy water before. Let the lady finish. <laughs> Stop spinning around, you know? <laughs> yes, I found the box that did that. <laughs> oh, it was an effect. Yes, it was. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I want it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Google effects. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, yeah. That was oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Evidently. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right. I'm a little envious of John being in a bathroom because when I heard the bathroom, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. It's a good thing I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday through Monday. Oh. <laughs> you guys gotta start oh. your own show. Yeah, really. My God. We'll just sit back hilarious. here and watch for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. I, I found the effects. Uh. Oh Anyways. man, you guys are lovely. Oh, well. Thanks for yes. making this a lot of fun for us tonight. <laughs> Reminds me of the hangout with uh, Mara and everybody. All right. We all had this is this is this. Yes. Yeah. See now, there's the thing about effects, and you know, and when you learn this when you do video, there's only two transitions: cut and wipe. Right. <laughs> star all wipes. this other stuff, it's just like, don't worry. Star wipes, man. Don't forget star wipes. Yeah. Star, star wipes. Star yeah. Wipe. Yes, I, I use those every day, as a matter of fact. Um, but um, anyway, I, I think that's going to pretty much do it for us. Now, next week, next week, all you people that are in the chat room over here, well, actually, it's probably wherever it is, uh, Debbie Derryberry is with us next week, I believe. Is she not? Yeah. Nice. Wow, nice. Voice of Jimmy Neutron. Oh, nice. boy. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You thought you guys were important. In the alka we got it. Not anymore. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. <laughs> Hello. Can, she, can she sign my bottle of alka seltzer for me? She probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Send it in. We'll make sure of that. Um, and and of course we'll uh, we'll you know I know, you know Pat and I will be at Fafcon next weekend and uh, so I'll, I'll have a full report on that when we get back and um, Stu Herrera on October fourteenth, Maurice Lamarche on October twenty first. Maurice Lamarche wow. gonna be here. Man, on what a lineup! Tell your friends, get everybody in here. Woo! We'll hey, be Kat here. Catherine's been busy. I mean, that's a good lineup. She's working it. Catherine is awesome. Way to go, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. She just had a Thanks, birthday Catherine. a few days ago, too, Jason, by the way. Jason, Lee, who else are we missing? Catherine just turned 39, so everybody wish wow. her happy birthday. Happy birthday, Catherine. Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to you. you. Let's happy try and sing this up. Good luck. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear Catherine. 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 Happy birthday to you. And many more. Alrighty, well, on that note. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Even his mustache has a mustache. <laughs> let's, put well, a, anyway. let's put a fork in this thing. Yeah, it's That's it's it. anyway. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back next week at our usual time and our usual channel, if you really want to call it a channel. Uh, and uh, it's been great having everybody with us. We never know what's going to happen with these. It's just fun hanging out with voiceover people. And That's right. I found time. the Dan Leonard button. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I am Dan Leonard in the East. I am George Whittem in the West. And together we are East, East West, West Audio Body. Oh, oh, <laughs> so bad. Good night, everybody. Later, everybody. Yeah. Smell you later. <laughs> <laughs>